Hi, welcome to Eckhart Public Library's art demonstration uh, video with Karen. So we are going to make a piece of artwork today inspired by the Russian artist Wassily Kandinsky. And we talked about him at our story time on Tuesday. And today we're going to make a piece of art inspired by his painting on the circle. So we're going to create something similar to this if you want to follow his example or you have a chance to be creative and do whatever you want to do with the art supplies that were in the art to go bag. So the art to go bag was available this week. We have the supplies that we need to make this particular piece of artwork. We're going to start with your piece of uh, watercolor paper that is divided into squares. We have four squares uh, across the top and three going down which makes 12 total and uh, we are going to first start out by using our crayons and Wassily Kandinsky his design with the with uh, his circles were circles within circles so I'm going to kind of follow that particular model too but like I said you can do whatever you want to with your circles so I'm going to just start with my blue crayon and make a big circle and I'm going to color it in a little bit Put red next. The crayons have wax in them, so when we paint over them, the watercolor paint's going to go in all of those little white spaces that I don't get filled with crayon. Okay, how about yellow? You can put together any colors that you like. Okay, how about a purple center? There's one, one square done. I'm gonna move on to the next one. I'm gonna try to choose some different colors this time. How about green? Got a couple more spaces to color in here. My last circle, and let's see. Hmm, let's put let's put a green green center in that one. All right, my twelve circles are finished. The next thing that I need to do is I need to trace over these pencil lines with my black crayon so that the next step, they, the squares don't run into each other. So I'm gonna outline. All right, I am finished with my crayons. Now we get to use the paint. The paint that came with your kit is a watercolor set. And when you open up your paints, you'll notice that the paints are really dry. And in order to make them work for us, we have to add water. So I brought along a bowl of water and you'll need to bring that along. Uh, you'll need to get a bowl of water or a cup of water from your house. That wasn't included in your kit. And I'm just gonna take my foam brush and I'm just going to dab some water into each of those paint colors. And in between each color, I'm going to kind of wash out my brush so I don't mix the colors. And when 
gonna add that water, that'll kind of soften up those paints. All right, I may have to add some more water as I go too, but for right now, we're kind of, we're, we're ready to do the next step. I have to decide if I want all of my squares to be different colors, like my sample, okay? I chose a different paint color for each square, or if you like one color or two colors, you can you can decide how many colors you want to use. It's totally up to you. I'm going to do the same thing I did with my sample. I'm gonna choose a different background color of paint for each square. So, let's see. I'm going to look at my paints and I'm just going to start with orange. And then I'm gonna just paint over that entire circle that I just used my crayon to create. I'm gonna to try to go to the edge of the lines. There we go, smooth it out. And you'll notice as you do this that the paint kind of stays away from the crayon part and soaks into the paper where it's white, so you get a background color. All right, that one's orange. I'm gonna move on to another color. Let's see, I like this blue. Let's see, and I'm gonna paint this background blue. Now what's kind of cool about the watercolor paint is the more water you use, the lighter the color is. So if you want it darker, you just use less water. I'm gonna add a little bit more paint to that one because I want it to be a little darker. Okay, all right. Now I'm gonna move on to the next color. I like purple. Now, if you want the background to be darker, you can go over each of those squares again with the same color paint, or if you're happy with the way it looks, you can just let it dry. And you'll notice that some of that will pool around on the crayon, but it will, it will just slide right off once everything is dry. The last step is to sign your name. I can't sign my name yet because it's too wet. So I'm gonna let it dry and then I have to decide where I want my name to be. Do I want it in the bottom corner? Do I wanna turn my painting and have it in this bottom corner, wherever you'd like? And then you have to find a special place to hang it, your refrigerator, or maybe you have a bulletin board at home because you want to share your art with everybody in your house so they can see what a beautiful job you did. We're all finished for today. Thanks for joining me. I had a lot of fun painting circles like Wassily Kandinsky. And join me on Tuesday for another story time and the following Thursday for another art demonstration video. And don't forget to pick up your art to go bag in the children's department or call for curbside delivery. Have a wonderful week. Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.